The HAL Tejas MK2 is not just an upgrade over the MK1 but a complete reimagination of what India's indigenous fighter jet program can achieve. Unlike the earlier variant, which was criticized for limited range and payload, the MK2 offers a much larger fuel capacity and more hardpoints, enabling it to carry a greater variety of weapons. This means the aircraft can perform deeper strike missions without relying heavily on refueling support. Its design also incorporates close-coupled cannons, which improve agility, high angle of attack performance, and overall aerodynamic stability. These changes put the MK2 in a category comparable to international 4.5 generation fighters, ensuring that it can compete with jets like the F-16 Block 70 and the Gripen E. One of the biggest talking points around the Tejas MK2 is its engine, the GEF 414 INS-6. Delivering nearly 98 kilonewtons of thrust, this engine provides the aircraft with a thrust-to-weight ratio that significantly boosts its performance envelope. It will allow the MK2 to fly at speeds around Mach 1.8, with supersonic capability at low altitudes, making it highly versatile for both defensive and offensive missions. This engine also brings in a higher reliability factor, which is vital for the Indian Air Force when deploying a frontline multirole combat jet. The integration of indigenous systems with this imported engine creates a balanced mix of proven technology and local innovation. The avionics suite has also been significantly upgraded. The UTAM AESA radar is a major step forward, allowing for simultaneous air-to-air -air and air-to-ground tracking, while providing resistance to jamming and electronic countermeasures. Alongside this radar, the MK2 will feature an advanced infrared search and track system, giving pilots the ability to detect stealthier aircraft without relying only on radar. These features are critical in modern aerial combat where electronic warfare and stealth play a massive role. The aircraft is also being designed to carry a wide range of indigenous missiles, such as the Astra series, and potentially the BrahMos in cruise missile, increasing its flexibility in combat scenarios. From a pilot's perspective, the cockpit environment has undergone a complete overhaul. Earlier designs with multiple switches have been replaced with a simplified glass cockpit dominated by a large area display. The side stick control system enhances handling precision and gives the pilot a more modern fighter jet feel. This not only reduces pilot workload during intense combat situations but also brings the Tejas MK2 in line with global cockpit design philosophies seen in aircraft like the F-35. The simulator demonstrations have already highlighted how intuitive and effective this setup will be for training in real-world missions alike. On the operational side, the Tejas MK2 is projected to serve as a replacement for India's aging fleets of Mirage 2000, Jaguar, and MiG-29 fighters. This is crucial, as the Indian Air Force needs to maintain its squadron strength while phasing out older platforms that are becoming difficult to maintain. With plans for at least 120 units to be inducted initially, the MK2 is expected to form the backbone of India's fighter fleet well into the 2040s. The aircraft also plays into the larger Atmanirbar Bharat initiative, with nearly 82% indigenous content at launch, and efforts ongoing to push that figure above 90% in later production runs. This ensures that not only does the Air Force benefit from the jet, but the local defense industry and ecosystem thrive as well. In terms of timeline, the first prototype rollout is expected towards the end of 2025, with the maiden flight likely in early to mid-2026. Following extensive flight testing, full operational clearance is anticipated around 2028 or 2029, with squadron induction thereafter. While the exact price of the aircraft has not been officially disclosed, experts suggest it will be competitively priced compared to Western fighters of a similar class, making it a potential export product for friendly nations. If everything goes according to plan, the HAL Tejas MK2 will not just be a fighter jet but a symbol of India's ability to design, develop, and field advanced indigenous aerospace technology on the global stage. Would you like me to expand this script further into a long-form version like the 20,000 word reviews I've created for you before, or should I keep it in this medium-length documentary style for video narration?